what's up folks? Ow, ow, ow. Uh, what's up, Doc? Friday. Friday. <laughs> Mid-afternoon, well it's more than mid-afternoon, it's late afternoon, it's 4pm, um, I'm only getting into the office now, I uh, was working last night so between catching up on sleep and just kind of acclimatising myself to the day, uh, I've just come into the office now, under no real pressure, I did manage to get the email out this morning so that was great, um, I'll keep an eye on that and see what the open rates like are, open rates and click through rates are like, um, and hopefully no one subscribes. Yeah, today the mixed bag. I do want to spend um, a little time if I can before I go to work this evening. Eventually getting around to look at the Sumo Me stuff. Um, today's podcast also, or not today's podcast, today's vlog needs to be edited and uploaded as well. So I'm going to jump in and do that first and foremost because that's time sensitive. Uh, and then hopefully I will have um, an hour before I go to work to look at the Sumo Me stuff. I don't know after that if I get a whole lot else done. Um, ideally, I'd like to do another pass at next Tuesday's article as well. So we shall see. But I don't really have about four hours um, before I have to go to work. And uh, I can't spend all of that in the office. So I've maybe about two, two and a half hours at a push in the office. So see what I can get done between now and then but i'm going to go and edit today's podcast or i keep saying podcast i don't need to edit a podcast i could i don't need to but i could but i don't need to uh i'm gonna go edit today's vlog and get that uploaded um it was a pretty short cameo from me if you've already watched it again didn't have to do a whole lot yesterday couldn't do a whole lot yesterday uh and paul was under a bit of pressure uh, he uh, he did manage to get his article out in fairness to him and it's a, it is a really good article uh, I am very much also looking forward to the video that accompanies that um, because I think a walkthrough video will be a fantastic addition to that piece of content uh, so Paul looking forward to it um, yeah so yeah anyway listen no point in me sitting here talking rubbish to you guys I'm going to go get to work at today's vlog edited and uploaded and the social promotion done and I will check back in with you after that. I got my blog article published yesterday, but I haven't got my video or social promotion done. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that. But rather than, I suppose, go on about that too much, I want to speak for a few minutes about the importance of doing keyword research. That's, that's what I was looking at this week. It really became evident when I was looking at a lot of blogs and a lot of bloggers who I suppose are within the groups that we're hanging out in, Keyword research doesn't seem to get done. It seems to just be ignored. It's a case of, I've got an idea for a piece of content. I think my followers will like it. I'm going to create it's, it. It maybe isn't actually gaining us new followers. It maybe isn't gaining us organic traffic. And it's not because the content isn't good. It's not because it isn't enjoyable. It's simply because there hasn't been a little bit of work done just to find out how you can actually rank uh, and what terms you could rank for in the search engines. An example that I suppose we can talk about is, I was doing an article on backlinking last week and fine, backlinking, it's something which used to be really important and spoken about. Then the kind of the, the thoughts come along, look, well, backlinking isn't really that important for blogging anymore. And kind of come back again and say, well, actually, you know, it, it still is because in the simple terms, the more people who click a link that points to your website and the more Google sees links from different parts of the internet pointing to your website, the higher they rank it. That's not the only ranking factor, don't get me wrong. But that's not the point. The point is for that article, there's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, and as you can imagine, probably hundreds of thousands of articles on it really. If you look at the really good focused ones, there's probably maybe 50 to 100 quality backlinking articles out there that you'd say, yeah, that is top notch. So. How do I actually win new followers? How do I get that to rank organically? Surely at this point, you know, Google are ranking pages on the internet since 1998. We're nearly 20 years in. All the backlinking articles have probably been written. And you know what? In one way or another, everything probably has been said in, in one, I suppose, some way, shape or form already. But then again, 
it maybe necessarily hasn't. The first thing I was thinking about was, well, backlinking, what I want to do is I want to write an article on backlinking. I wanted to number one, serve the audience and actually be helpful and help people. And the second thing I wanted to do is to get found and to have people be able to find that article next week, next month, next year. What's the easiest way for that article to get found? For it to rank number one in Google for certain key terms. Now, obviously, if I, you know, going after backlinking, that's going to be way too competitive. We're not a big enough website, big enough brand to actually compete in a known top spot for that one term. So well, what did I do? Well, the first thing I did was I, I started brainstorming. So I started brainstorming terms like backlinking for bloggers, how to do backlinking, is backlinking still important, and so on and so forth. I ended up maybe 20, 30 terms. I just, just went through it. So following on from that, I, I then had a list. I had a starting point. I've, I've actually brainstormed this and then I went, I was like, okay, brilliant, I have something here. So following on from that, I, I then decided to actually go and I used a, a tool called Sewell. So, it's, uh, uh, so it's actually, I'm probably pronounced that incorrect. Solve, I guess, S-O-O-L-V-E. And what that does is that gives you autofill for the likes of YouTube, Bing, you know, Google, Yahoo, Amazon even, and a few more, but it's all on the one screen. So I type in backlinking. I can see what the autofill kind of says on, on all of these different search engines. I can see backlinking for, or if I say how to, um, I start getting the autofill. So then I was able to pick out a few more ideas, you know, um, and from that then I, I added that to my list so I, I had more and looking at the list there's a few terms that I'm kind of thinking yeah maybe these this is what I want to be to be ranking for so let's say backlinking for bloggers uh, I decided I'm going to have a look at that so I see that the, the key search terms which are ranking in the top organic spots uh, there's a tool called spyfu uh, s-p-y-f-u dot com I then go to that website and I put in the top, say, six or seven articles for that term that I've searched. And what SpyFu does is there's a free version, there's a premium version. I'm talking about the free version because at the moment bloggers are looking to maybe um, have something which is quick, easy uh, and low cost. Now, when you get more better, more competitive, you can, you can invest in this. But the free version is enough for what we're looking at here. It tells you the type of content uh, that is being produced. But apart from that, we don't focus on all this other stuff. We focus on, it tells you what the top keywords are, it tells you what the, the financial value is, uh, and how much traffic those search terms are getting. So you can see what those articles are actually optimized for. That gives us a few more ideas. So all of a sudden our list maybe is like, we've never maybe got 40 terms, and there's a little bit of science. And look, I have a science degree, it's, it's in, my, in my nature to be um, very analytic or, or very thoughtful or theoretical. How are you gonna get from A to Z? You're not just, you're not just gonna write a piece of content and it's gonna rank number one in Google. You're gonna have to create content that's gonna be really good. You're gonna to have to SEO optimize it. We need a term to SEO optimize for it. And that's what I was kind of thinking. And that, that's what's needed. So now we've got all of these terms. So we've spent you know, probably 15, 20 minutes. So a significant amount of time, not that much really when you think about the fact that we're going to publish this article and it's probably going to be getting us traffic for a year maybe two years could be even longer depending on how evergreen it is so once that that's all happening we then come along and i use a tool called moz moz again free version premium version this is based on the free version and what moz basically does is you put your your terms in so you can have them in an excel file you have to save it as a csv you upload it to moz and Moz will basically come along, put all those terms through its own algorithm and its own software, and it ranks it, it rates it. It tells you how good, how bad, and how, I suppose, difficult it's gonna to be to rank for those search terms. So it tells you how much monthly traffic you can expect. It tells you how competitive it is. Uh, everything's scored from zero to 100, so it's quite easy to very quickly see, well, that's good, that's good. It has an opportunity tab as well, and it kind of says, well, what one has the highest opportunity, what has the lowest opportunity? So all of a sudden, these 40 terms, which you're kind of looking at, you can go, well, okay, yeah, backlinking, that term might get searched 100,000 times a month, but hang on a second here. Um, you know, fast backlinking, 
that only gets that only gets char that only gets searched a thousand times but competition is low opportunity is high that could be a thousand people who i could get to my website and i'm going to be able to serve them uh, over a monthly period so if i can if i can rank top for that um that that's going to be huge you know so and what, what, what i do then is with those lists of that list of 40 you kind of you, you check the metrics and you end up with maybe four or five terms that you decide they're the ones i'm going to go after you know you can read through it and go through all of it or you can just filter by what's got the best opportunity what's got the best traffic what's got the i suppose the lowest competition and, and just pick it and then make another sub list and then i would go along and i would pick one of those words to be my primary keyword that i want to rank for um and then a couple of other three or four other terms that i think they're good it would be nice to rank for them as well so i'm going to include them in areas of my article but i'm not going to i, I can't, you can't put every keyword in every part so for example we then move on to i suppose the editing phase so we've written the article we're looking at editing it and that's when i'll probably work in a few of these phrases you know so fast backlinking tips I'll start putting that in to the headline. I'll start putting that into some headers. I'll have that in the opening sentence and in some way, shape or form, the meta description, the snippet description, or it could be also called in your WordPress team. I'll have it written in there. I'll have it written into the article images that I'm using in the description side of things. If I include a video, I'll, I'll title the video that. I'll include this in the metadata. In the conclusion part, I'll, I'll also include it. And then the other keywords, they'll get put in. And, it's only small tweaks to the article and the article will still read and give the same amount of value. And those terms, they could be slightly different one way or the other, but it doesn't really matter. But I mean, net result is six days later when I finish that article, it's now top of Google. So I'm, I'm ranking number one for that term. And I can already see that the traffic is starting to come through for it. Whereas there's articles that I've written and we've all been guilty of. We've just written them, we've just published them. And you know they're they're not really optimized for a search term or they're maybe optimized for a search term which is getting little to no traffic and that's of no value as well so it's a small thing and it's something that i've been focusing on but it's a really really big because it can get your results and, and that's really what it's down to because our our view is that look people can blog and people can you know talk about whatever they want to talk about be it for a hobby be it for a business be it to become a personality brand whatever it is but What's fundamental is you want to get the content in front of the right people and you want to build that following. And this is just one of those small things that we add on that was going to help your blog get bigger, better, get you that larger following and get you those results. So if you don't optimize your keywords, you're missing out. Now you can go back and do this for historical articles. You've got to be careful changing links and things because that can cause... I suppose existing backlinks maybe to your site to break but again if you've if you if you need any help if you've got any questions feel free to reach out if you're lucky enough to be watching this video you can see there's not a huge amount of views on it at the moment we've only just started this vlog the vlog is just something that we're putting along with the blog just to kind of document things as as we go on the journey it's all about the journey and yeah, feel free to reach out to us, comment below, comment on the website. Best place is to join our Facebook group. And in there, then you can actually have a safe environment where we can go back and forth and we can talk about it. And again, um, you know, our following, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger, but it's nowhere near what it was for the football website. We haven't got 20,000 people following us. We haven't got the huge email list yet, so we're, we're quite accessible. So reach out. But I just thought it was important. And I know these... These vlogs are kind of more to do with, you know, what we're doing and what's going on and, and how the, the site is going and how it's running. But I just thought it was worthwhile chatting about it for a few minutes because, you know, chances are, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering, well, how are the guys get, how's their blog getting better? Uh, and this is really a key thing and something that you can actually use yourself. So I'm going to go, I'm going to continue. I'm going to work on my social promotion for the article I published yesterday. Um, I've had a read of E. Phil's email that he sent out. It was very, very enjoyable. He talks a little bit about his breakdown. Um, so that, that's worth a read. You need to be on our email list. If you're not, you're missing out because those emails are actually quite good and um, very personal as well, which is, is probably ref is refreshing and unusual because you won't get that sort of stuff just sent out on blog posts. And 
The other thing I'm going to do is work on the video and the video to go along with what I've just been speaking about. So that's me. I'm out of here. I'll chat to you soon. Okay, quick update for you guys. It's now half six and I have managed to get a good lot of work done on next Tuesday's article. So it's been it's gone through Grammarly, gone through Hemingway. I've created my featured image. Um, I've given it a tidy up. I've gone through the spacing, the headline, the SEO, and my call to actions have all been added in there. Uh, so it's looking pretty close to being done. Um, obviously, you have a couple of more steps I need to do. I need to add in some images to the actual body of the email. I might even add in an animated GIF, try and mix it up a bit. Um, but yeah, very close. I also need to edit the video to go along with that. But it's only Friday. This doesn't go live until Tuesday. Um, so I'm happy enough that I'm on target to have this finished over the weekend. So hopefully by Monday morning, this will be ready to go. Uh, and I can forget about it. But that's all I'm going to be at today. Uh, at 6.30, going to go get some dinner, sort myself out, and then go to work. So that's it from me. Chat to you tomorrow. <laughs>